Alright guys, so right now when I was editing, editing the video, uh, I kind of messed up a little bit and deleted two uh, parts of the video, which were the beginning of the video. So practically on those two parts, I was just explaining that I was going to head to uh, Oklahoma to go pick up the hood and that I was going to take the guy some SRT 10 wheels uh, that he had found here, that those wheels were my, uh, my homie's little brother. So... Uh, so yeah, so if the beginning of the video is a little messed up, uh, my bad, you know, it happens. So yeah, so, so yeah. So yeah, guys, so the only reason I'm picking up a new hood, there's nothing wrong with this hood or anything like that, but the hood I'm picking up is a Venom hood. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about those type of hoods, but if you're really into this third gen Rams, and are on the facebook pages you guys know that the venom hood is a really really hard hood to find because they no longer make them um but uh i found one well i didn't find one but the guy who's 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 uh selling it he messaged me today in the morning and he told me that uh he has one for sale and that uh, he knows that i've been looking for one for a while so he uh, messaged me and we uh, we talked about the price and everything, and uh, well he's gonna gi he's gonna give me the hood for a good deal. Uh, the hood, he told me that the hood has no cracks, no bends, or nothing like that. But the the hood is black, but so I'm gonna get it painted either way for the truck. So if it does need any type of work, I'm I'm gonna end up getting it done anyways because the truck's gonna get painted. I mean the the hood's gonna get painted, but. Uh, but yeah, and then you know, he had told me that he had found, he had saw those wheels, the wheels that I just showed you guys, the SRT 10 wheels. Um, he saw them somewhere here in uh, near the where I'm from, and uh, he asked me if I could pick him up. And those wheels actually turned out to be my one of my homies' uh, uh, little brother. So so yeah, so he talked to that to my homie's little brother, and uh, they negotiated on a price. And since I'm heading over there, I told him, yeah, I could take him for you. So I, I went to go pick him up. So, so yeah, so I'm going to go take those, those wheels for him. And I'm going to give him those wheels. He's going to give me the hood. And then I'm going to give him whatever extra I have to give him. So, so yeah, guys. So I am going to be taking my Daytona to Oklahoma. It's uh, where he's from. It's like a 10-hour drive, more or less. But, you know, how you have to stop to put gas and to get food and shit like that. So... So yeah, so so yeah, so wish me luck. I'll be I'll be picking up the the camera in the morning. So so yeah. So it's currently 4:38. So right now we're about to head. Uh, I'm about to head to pick up my girlfriend. Cause she's down. She's down to go with me. So so yeah. So I'm gonna have her uh, go with me and uh, probably stop at a gas station right now to fill up. So I won't. I won't have to, I won't have to stop later. Uh, and. Uh, and I don't know, maybe I'll stop by uh, a laser wash to wash the truck real quick before heading over there because it's a little dirty right now. And you know, I like going, I like going to places in style. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, so yeah. I uh, guys, so decided to stop by the car wash real quick to do that to the, to wash the truck. And then right now I'm gonna pick up my girl, but. Um, but yeah, guys, like I was saying, uh, this hood is really rare to find. Um, they used to make them for a while, but they stopped making them for I don't know what reason. But uh, but yeah, so and if you find one now, like like if you find one of those, like people want like you know a lot for them. So so that's why um, this guy hit me up and he gave we, we made a deal and that's why I'm going for it. Um, and. Well, yeah, guys, so the truck's going to have a new look in 
that's something I wanted because I've been dying. Like I've been trying to see what else I could change on the on the Daytona because you know I get tired of, of, of it being the same. I already did the sticker, like I told you guys, the decal in the back, and I'm gonna get the tail painted. So and now I'm gonna get the hood, so the truck is gonna have a new look. And uh, anyway, yeah, guys, so probably up next is probably try to get some SRT 10 wheels for this truck. I mean SRT 10 uh, seats. And uh, those are hard to come by too, so hopefully I can find some. Uh, well, once I get more cash, you know, but uh, and uh, also for a good deal. And uh, and well, yeah, guys. So so hope you guys enjoy this ride with me. Uh, of course, you guys are not gonna have all the ten hours driven like I am. And uh, but you know, I'll do the cutting and shit and. And now, and I'll record once I get the hood and everything. So, so yeah, guys. So. Do I walk towards you? Yeah. So, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Record the gas guys so we're uh, by dallas i think we need we need like maybe like two three more hours to get to uh oklahoma city um i'm not gonna lie guys this is a drive you know all the way from south texas all the way over here but i know it's gonna be worth it you know i'm doing all this for a fucking hood but, but that's all right you know it's something that i always wanted for my truck and I can't find it anywhere, and I finally came up with it, and, uh, oh yeah, so I gotta go pick it up, so right now we're at the gas station, uh, it's, um, my girl had to go to the restroom, and told her to get some gum, cause when you're driving, you know, your ears be popping, so I gotta be chewing something, so, so I wouldn't, so the ears won't be popping and shit, so, so yeah, so, I'll probably pick up the camera again, once I get there to Oklahoma and uh, and yeah and see what, what we do when we're over there so en mi ram fly siempre me verán en las carreras listo para apostar y el que no quiera que se mueva para el lado en mi troquita siempre me verá zumbando llanta me la paso yo quemando para el club que se la pasa gritando es el fin de semana con los camaradas tomando caguamas barbecue I'm the motherfucking grill that's how we do yeah that's how we chill bumping some chopped in screw that's how I do with my Texas crew de Califas a Texas y Tamaulipas escuchan los motores de las troquitas quemando llantas running from the policía that's how it is cada pinche día Oh, Alright guys, so we're in Austin, Texas right now. We got about five minutes to get home. Five minutes? I mean five minutes. <laughs> five hours to get home. Uh I had to pump gas real quick. So yeah, I don't have to I don't have to I don't have to uh, stop to pump gas anymore. Yeah, I can see the hoods right here, looking nice and clean. Well, it's kind of dirty, but it's clean. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm thinking about putting it on like this. Uh, this girl, I'm gonna take this girl out. I don't like this girl. 
took it out. So, so yeah. All right, guys, so right now we're putting on the hood. I already took off the original one, which is over here. But I'll put this one on. We just tie it from here. So yeah, I'm gonna put it on like this right now. And then next week, I'm gonna get the hood painted. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek. But tomorrow morning, I'll show you guys how it looks in the daytime. So let me show you guys real quick. See the intake through there. And this is how it looks to the inside. Y'all see this little thing right here? to go wash the truck real quick because it's a little dirty for the trip and then tomorrow i'll show you guys how it looks during the daytime but right now i'll just show you guys you know just a little wash and shit and you know you know it's bad. do you like the hood or no mm -hmm. tell the youtube <laughs> people that you like the hood all right guys so like i told you i was going to show you the hood during the daytime so uh here it is. This is Los Angeles. All right, guys, so there you go. Um, I'm gonna get the hood painted next week. I already talked to my uncle, and uh, he said, "Yeah, next week we'll get down on painting it." So next week I'm gonna paint the hood, and I'm also gonna paint the the tail in the back. So uh, let me show you guys how I how I wanted to get painted. So, alright, guys. So obviously I'm gonna paint the hood orange, but I do want this little lips right here black so we'll probably paint like all that orange and then right here all this black so um probably make like a line right here paint this black everything else orange uh this i'll probably remove it so more air could go in or i don't know probably paint it also or fix it because it's kind of crooked um this girl right here i'll probably take it out put the chrome ones back on oh i don't know i'll see how i like it um the hood is in pretty good condition the only thing is that it does need a little bit of body work but not a lot like maybe like right here um right here right there right there um, right here, right there. 
something simple you know it's not really that much body work i mean the hood is pretty straight it just needs those little um those little uh chips right there something easy um the hood does fit pretty good because like i said it's a it's a venom hood so the guy who who made this hood did a really good job on them on making them uh, the hood is fiberglass, but I believe it's also metal. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah. All right, guys. So, like I said, uh, these hoods, they no longer make them. And if you do find them, they're real expensive. So, uh, shout out to Freddy uh, Cornejo, I believe that's his name, for hooking me up with this hood. And, uh, oh, yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. So, I'm in love with the truck. I mean, I was already in love with it, but I'm in love with it all over again. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the hood painted. It's gonna, it's gonna give the truck a new look, which that's what I wanted. I wanted something different for the truck because I was already kind of tired of the old, old look. So, um, so yeah. And um, oh yeah, guys. So all right, guys. So I decided to come in the truck because it's kind of windy outside and a little cold. So. Um, so yeah so uh so you guys are probably wondering what i'm going to do next on my truck um i gotta replace the rear shocks on my truck because when i hit a bump it's kind of like it kind of goes more down than it used to so i'm guessing the shocks are probably already messing up since i've been putting work on the truck you know hauling shit and putting stuff in the back and and all that shit so um uh, when I went over there to Oklahoma, I was I was telling uh you know Freddie that about that and he he suggested that I get that I get some air shocks, and um, he told me what brand and everything and he told me that his truck rides real smooth. He also has a lower ram, um, so I already hit up my friend who works in O'Reilly, so uh, he's a manager there and I, I hit him up to see if they have him. He told me they do have him, so I'm probably gonna go pick those up. So I'm going to get those done. Um, on the 454, uh, the guy who was supposed to do the body work, I guess he's not going to be able to do it no more. So I'm going to have to find someone else to, to do it. Um, uh, I'll be hitting him up sometime soon so I could pick up the front end. And, um, and yeah, so, I mean, shit happens, but whatever. And, uh, well, yeah, guys. And, uh, also a lot of you guys, um, don't know this, but. I do rap, I make music. I mean, that's not, that's not something that I take real serious because I just do it for fun. I just do it like whatever. Like I'll hear, I hear a beat and I kind of want to like, you know, rap to it. So I don't, I don't take this serious. So like, I don't know. I, I, I don't, if you guys don't like the, like it, it's all good. You know, I don't, I don't trip about it. And, um, but uh, some of you guys do uh, comment on my post or like hit me up on Instagram or, or something. And let me and ask me like where do I get my music from? Well, the music that I not all of it, but most of the music that I put on my videos is me rapping. Um, so I decided to make a different YouTube channel, and uh, <coughs> and uh, I I decided to make another YouTube channel and put some of my music there. So uh, I'll put the link below so you guys could check out that music. Um, like I said, it's not something that I take real serious. I just do it for fun. And um, if you guys enjoy it, well, cool. If you guys don't, well, it's all good, you know. And, um, and well, yeah, so I'll, I'll put the link below. Also, yesterday I went to go watch my truck with my girlfriend, as you saw in, in the in the video. And we decided to make, you know, just a little video of me. Like, you know, like a little ghetto uh, music, music video. So, uh. Uh, I decided to post it on this video, and like I said, it's just a little small video, you know. So don't think I don't think it's professional and shit. So yeah, and um, and well, yeah, guys. So um, so yeah, that's pretty much it with this video, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it if you guys uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, give it a thumbs thumbs up. You know, it really it really helps. You know, the videos and my YouTube channel. And, um, oh well, yeah, we're almost to a thousand subscribers, so we're gonna keep growing little by little, but we're growing, and there we are, guys. So, 
that's pretty much it so so yeah hope you guys had a, a good uh christmas christmas holiday and also hope you guys have a good uh, new year's and, and we are so peace En mi ram fly, siempre me verán en las carreras listo para apostar. Y el que no quiera que se mueva para el lado, en mi troquita siempre me verá zumbando. Llanta, me la paso yo quemando para el club que se la pasa gritando. Es el fin de semana con los camaradas tomando caguamas. Barbecue, I'm the motherfucking grill. That's how we do, yeah, that's how we chill. Bumping some, chopped in screw. That's how I do with my Texas crew De Califas a Texas y Tamaulipas Escuchan los motores de las troquitas Quemando llantas, running from the policía That's how it is, cada pinche día It's a motherfucking weekend Quemando llantas, I always be spinning One, two, three, go Beat motherfuckers on dicks or rows que queme llantas, súbele a las bocinas Me vale verga que se enojen las vecinas Aquí yo soy el que manda Por eso me la paso bien con toda mi banda Bumping some chalino, Beto Quintanilla Tomando cerveza, whisky o tequila Ey, siempre me la paso bien Aquí con la clica, siempre al cien I don't gotta pretend En mi rap la like going insane Echándome donuts, alterado con las rolas Money from the chotas, pisa homes hasta el piso Que se escuchen los motores y el robo hueso Fuck it, vende la botella Porque a Chile estos putos A mí me la pelan a mí me la pelan It's the motherfucking weekend Quemando llantas I always be spinning One, two, three, go Beating motherfuckers on digs or roads